Checking on money matters this morning, prices are up for bananas, pineapples, and other fresh cut fruits. And pay increases for low wage workers are staying ahead of rising costs. Jane King joins us live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this, money, this morning's Money Matters Report. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Bruce and Jen. Good morning to you. Yes, average employee compensation of 4.2% in the last 12 months, but costs are rising faster than that. So workers in lower wage sectors like hotels and restaurants are seeing above average pay gains. Uh, typically, uh, they would uh, be seeing at the lowest end, but they're actually being able to catch up with the rest of the workforce here. In fact, uh, their wage is up about 7% in September. Well, nearly one in three adults get financial support from the bank of mom and dad post COVID. For for parents, however, supporting grown children can be a financial burden when their own retirement looms. Now, according to a separate creditcards.com poll, about half of parents did help their kids financially through the crisis. And inflation pressures forcing Del Monte to hike fruit prices. The price increases go into effect today. They will be levied on bananas and pineapples and fresh cut fruit. The company didn't say by how much those prices will be raised, though. And Toys R Us and Macy's releasing a list of the top toys for the holiday season. This is Jeffrey's Hot Toy List. It includes dollhouses, toy cars, scooters, board games. Some highlights include the hero-themed toys like the G.I. Joe Origins Ninja role play set. And then also the Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures Dinobots Unite Rock and Roll Change figure. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King.